I've just been faffing around with this Jin Long Solace, and you can see there it's, it says initializing. So it'll tinker at that, but what I've been at is, um, it had an OV bus error, so the relays were a dud. I put the good relays into another one, and then I chopped up the four relays I had left out of fixing uh, Solace and uh, Aurora. There's a relay clicking. There they are, opening up. One, two, three, four. They're all opening. They're all now all closed, which is positive. I've got a green solid light up here. It says generating. Can't really see that. There we go. I don't want to go back and escape. Zero watts. It should pop up now in a minute. It's got very low volts on it like 100 or something like that. Generating... Anybody? Still on zero. Ah, the 22, we're awake. So all I did was I chopped these guys open. And I'll show you a bad one now. I don't touch the um, capacitor there, the smoothing capacitor. So here's one that is clearly heated up. It's clearly heated up, that shouldn't be like that. There's one that had completely gone on, f well, not gone on fire, but the plastic had melted. What's remarkable about this one is the contacts in here, they still look very clean. So for some reason, it's heated up at the board, probably because it was a bad solder joint. That's my guess. Uh, there's another one you can see signs of overheating so when i chopped it open and had a look in i thought to myself well this one looks badly pitted if you can see in the center there so i, I left that one off although they probably would still all work if you could get a good connection on them i did this job on a similar solace before with andy reynolds in his workshop and he swears by bending these guys the little tab over so that they make more positive contact i haven't done that this time because i'm still in the learning phase but the relays are all connected now. They probably have a serious voltage across them. The covers are just, I think, to protect them when they're in transit and to put a, have a place to put the name on them. Uh, the white ones are what came out of this unit. AZ2150W1AE12DEF. And these ones came out of the Aurora. That's an ABB Aurora. Uh, these are Omron G8P-1A4P-BG. My soldering's brutal at best, but uh, I did it and I, I've clearly made a connection. Let's see what we're getting now. Generating. Forty-four watts. So I've got it just at around a hundred volts there, and that's all it'll give out. If I turn it up a bit more, it'll put out more watts, but I don't want to. I'd rather plug it into the solar and get it going that way. I'm happy with that little t little job now. Um, this will run. I'll show you on this ABB board if I can do it without touching everything. So here, this is what it looked like on the back. You can clearly see that spot where it's overheated. I think this is the big burnt one, um, that fellow there. I think that's where it came from. But on this side here, you can see it's blown right up. And I have a feeling I could clean that up, but I don't know what the joint to this cap here is like. I think that's a capacitor there. C39, this fellow here. I don't know what the joint is like to that, if the track is blown off this side or not. It's it's clearly damaged. Uh, I might clean it up. I was going to review, uh, I was going to restore this board, but uh, when it was that bad, I thought I'd better just fix the solace because I just want to tidy up the workbench. Whether or not I'll buy four new units for that, four new um, relays for that one is up in the air. That's the body of it down there. Uh, for now, we're generating. We've got it going. And that's the main thing. What's it say? 44. It's still just chugging away at 44 watts. So, happy days. I'll show, try and show you something now. If I turn that off, turn it down. Uh, that's my DC turned down. And then if I plug out, the relays are just opening there. All four of them together. Um, if I then plug out the DC. And then plug out the AC. I was getting a thing before where 
with the AC, if I can hold it like this now, and if you can see that, and if I get a screwdriver, I was getting an arc across that on some relay, some on some of the inverters, but not on this one right now. And I think what's happening is some of them have a capacitor across live and neutral, and it was just you know working as a some kind of a maybe radio frequency interference suppressor or something like that. But it was. Uh, uh, giving a little spark, I realised the first time a few days ago when I zapped my finger. For now, I'll put this back together and I'll put it to test out on the on the solar panels. And if this one works, I'll keep this because this kind of a repair, I, I don't think. Well, I haven't. I don't think I've ever sold an inverter, so uh, it's none of my business. But uh, I don't even want to give one away. I guess you could give it away to somebody who knew what they were dealing with. But uh, if they didn't, you don't want to, you know, give them something that's been tinkered with like this. Maybe I'm talking guff. What do you think about this kind of a repair? Um, it was easy enough. I did it with a hundred, what is it? A 40 watt soldering iron and some flux and solder. That was all it took and a saw to open them up. And the only reason I opened them was to see which ones, like if you can see in there, that one looks a bit scorched. It's obviously overheated there, but the contact's a bit scorched as well probably works fine you could clean it up with a bit of emery paper andy swears by that i reckon they've got platinum coatings on them but uh or copper maybe it's only copper tell me what you think in the comments below uh subscribe if you haven't already and a uh, like would be appreciated uh thanks for watching see you later